We have a big old gray van. Oh, we'll show you. Like a 15 passenger. 12. 12 passenger. 12. The 15 wouldn't fit in the garage. And that was one of our things we have to be able to hide it. You're back there, right? I'm Al, and this is my wife, Lisa. We live in small town Texas. I'm not the best driver. I don't hit, like, I don't hit bad. I don't do bad. You hit a lot of stuff. I just hit, like, mailboxes and curbs and that kind of thing. Who wants to pass the truck? We have four biological children, and then we have three adopted little girls. Three months ago, Lindy joined our family, and Lindy is actually Abby's biological sister. The bio mom called us up and said, could the two sisters live together? And we have biological parents that come visit the girls and have very healthy relationships with them. We just think it's better for our kids is that they know where they came from and that the more people you have to love you, mm -hmm. the better off you are in life. Uh, I do see kids all day long. It's, uh, it's almost a 24-7 kind of thing. I gotta put on a happy face. I gotta make sure my attitude is the way it needs to be because I wanna match what I'm gonna meet, whether it be at home or at work. This is Alligator Dental. This is where Lisa spends a couple days a week and where I spend my time. We've been here about three years at this location with our next door neighbor, the gastroenterologist. I work the front end, he works the back end. Hello folks, welcome, hey buddy. When kids come here, they've heard all the horror stories from parents or grandparents or brother or sister or whatever, and so our goal is to try and get that anxiety and stress to go away. I like cupcake shirts, you know why? Because I like cupcakes. The most important thing is the inviting atmosphere that we have, and my staff. I try along with them, create a place where kids walk in, they get a smile, they get a handshake, and they see a trusting face. The way we live at home and our, our faith and our beliefs in God have translated into what we do in our day-to-day -day life and what I do here at work. And to treat people the way that God would treat us and trying to be kind and gentle is such an important way to treat everyone in life. And so we have brought that from home into this as well. We have several of these in our house. This is obviously came from the $29.99 sale of these picture frames. Our life right now is so busy that things like this drive me nuts, but I've had to let them go. Making beds used to be such a has to happen every day. Right, right. I used to iron crib sheets so that they looked really nice. This morning it was more important that we played with the kids and got to talk to them than send them up to the room to make their beds. We've begun to realize there are some more important things than having a bed made. If we let one bad thing that happened with the kids or one bad thing that happened to the office, it kind of sours everything. What really keeps Al and I going is that we're doing it all together. You know, like you say, it's quack quack. I'm a wife, I'm a mother. I'm a husband, and I'm a father. I'm a pediatric dentist. And I run his practice. My name is Al Burns. My name is Lisa Burns. And we are Mormons. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're coming. Yeah.